Restored to its rightful place at the beginning of May, the Giro d'Italia signals the start of summer for many and the opening of the curtain on a season of Grand Tour racing. The nation of Italy, its coastlines, castles, rivers, valleys, cities and mountains, puts itself at our disposal, <clears throat> excuse me, for the next three weeks of racing. Who will stand on the top step of the podium in Milan? No one can say with any certainty. 8.6 kilometre course uh, within the centre of Turin. We've had a look at it, Matt. Um, there are one or two twists and turns, but nothing too technical as they set off uh, from the uh, Piazza Castello and down onto the banks of the river. It's fast, isn't it? It's fast. There's not going to be much margin for error on this course as well. But as you said, it's all about getting the power down as, as best you can. That's probably the only really technical part on the circuit is a little tight loop, a little bit of an uphill drag. And they will face a light headwind for the last uh, 2.5 kilometres. But saying that's pretty sheltered. But there you go. Hardly uh, much elevation uh, or descent on, on the course at all. It is one um, for the real power men today. He's got uh, over 30 seconds to get to the line and uh, 500 metres to do it. So he's got to average close to close to 60 kilometres an hour over the course of these final 500 metres. But I think he's going to do it, Matt. And if he doesn't do it, he won't fail by much. This is a very, very powerful ride from this powerfully built Austrian. And if he deposes uh, Jonathan Castroviejo, he too could be on the hot seat for a long time. A big moment for the Israel startup nation. He's going to do it, we think. And he's going to do it with a little bit to spare. He may be a new name to many, but he's the kind of rider you're going to be hearing about, reading about, not just for the next three weeks of racing in the Giro d'Italia, but probably for years and years to come. Tobias Foss is about to do something very special here. Even if he dislodges Brendy, there's no guarantee, of course, that that time will hold all the way to the finish because there is so much talent still to come in the opening stage of the Giro d'Italia. But you've got to be in it to win it. And Foss's first objective here is to get to that finish line and take the hot seat from Matthias Brendy, which he's going to do with something to spare. A massive effort from Tobias Foss. going to be very, very tight indeed. No wind now, no headwind, I don't think, to battle as Cavagna lines up and looks through those mirrored shades at the line that cannot come quickly enough. Tobias Voss now, 10 seconds in the bank to hold off the threat of the Frenchman. Here comes Cavagna now, pushing for the line. Five seconds, four. The line is going to elude him. The time is going to stay with Tobias Voss and Remy Cavagna is going to pull up short. Not in our wildest dreams did we imagine we'd be calling home Eduardo Affini about to dislodge his teammate Tobias Foss. These two young riders, on that standing performance this has been from Jumbo Visma, they've still got their big GC player in George Bennett to come. And still we've got big favourites to come like Filippo Ganna and Remco Evenepoel. But look what a performance this is. It is a collective show of might from Jumbo Visma. And they steal it, the one from the other, as Eduardo Affini to the delivery light of the home support here in Italy. <laughs> Filippo Ganna is going to break the heart of the other Italian who will be looking on anxiously and in some despondency as the world champion beast of time trialing Filippo Ganna, who came to the Giro d'Italia last year, won the first time trial, picked up the jersey, won a mountain stage for good measure, won both the other time trials, took a bit of time off, comes back six months later and does it all again. That's four individual time trials in a row, I'm sure, for Filippo Ganna. I don't think anyone else who's still to start this race will get close to that time. I declare him a winner. I think Affini takes his hat off and knows that he's been beaten by nothing short of a phenomenon. Ganna wins by 10 seconds to Eduardo Raffini. His teammate Tobias Foss picks up third place. Joao Almeida is fourth. Remy Cavagna, after all that, down to fifth. Good ride from Jos van Enden in sixth. Ramco Evenepoel signs that it is there for him in seventh place. And Max Walscheid in the top ten, perhaps a little surprisingly. Good ride from Alexander Vlasov. A lot of potential from Alberto Betiol, who's in the mix in the GC. Good ride from Dowsett, who will probably be quite happy with that 14th place. Great day for Italy. One and two on the first stage of uh, the Giro d'Italia in the ancient capital of the first kingdom of Italy. There's a lot of time ahead on back in the hot seat uh, at the finish win the stage, but uh, yeah, I'm here and I'm so really happy. Now we think uh, <laughs> in the, for tomorrow to recover very well because uh, start the Giro and this Giro is uh, really hard.
we start uh, with the one liter radio, but uh, don't work nothing. <laughs> and uh, I say, hey, Filippo, full full gas uh, and uh, listen the the people in in the in the road. If you say your name is too high, you can uh, you can go really fast, uh, and uh, we shall arrive uh, with uh, this amazing uh, victory.